Today we're going to be discussing a new update that took place. It's a pretty big update if you're not familiar with it already. It's how preview mode it work, now works in Google Tag Manager. Traditionally, when you launch preview mode, you can simply just go to the site, a little lower one third pop up pops up and tells you what tags are or are not firing on specific pages. Well, now that's been moved to a whole new two page interface system and you use one page to view the website and the other page to view what tags are firing. So it sounds pretty simple, but it has a little bit of some bugs and functionality issues that I'm seeing right off the bat, but I'm gonna dive in to show you, show you exactly how it works. So let me minimize this little window here. I'm in our website here of Solutions 8, and when you click preview mode, normally you get that little yellow or orangish thing that says um, preview mode, but now you get this menu here. And it says, now we'd like to uh, start a new website or new page, but tag manager container, and this is your tag container, will be put into debug mode in this web browser. Enter a URL to your site to begin previewing your container. And so I already have the website, obviously, that we want to go to, which is Solate. Now, what's interesting is if you don't use this here, it won't work. So don't just try to enter your website and wonder, oh, no, it's not working anymore. Make sure that you have at least the HTTP, and I always just put a forward slash at the end. And then include the debug, no, sig debug signal in the URL. That means that you'll actually see um, that there's a debug signal in the URL, and you'll see what that means. When I click Start, it's connecting this window to solutions8.com. And we're now at the homepage. And you see down here, debugger connected. And what's interesting is now you usually would have your lower one third here, but you don't have that anymore. If you go to the top left, now this page is going to say, hey, it's connected. And you get to see all the tags. So let's continue. And you can see that we have a bunch of things firing right off the bat. Our remarketing, call tracking metrics, Google Optimize, lead forensics, analytics, live tracking, Facebook pixel, uh, live chat, and then our conversion linker. But what you don't see is a, um, let's do, where's the, checklist. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, but I'll show you what, what we're looking at. So right now, this is the meet the best Google uh, ads agency, which is true, by the way, uh, <laughs> you meet the this is, this is the homepage of our website, this is just pulling the page title. But if I were to go to a, um, a URL that has our thank you tag on it, if I just take this website, this is going to be now the entire page, and I paste it with the let me check my thank you page, it's going to go to the thank you page here, debugger still connected. Go back here, it's gonna say your free checklist is on the way. And then we're gonna look at what codes have fired. And you'll see that there's different codes that are firing on this page than the previous page. So this is where you can see, okay, I saw the form was submitted. Um, that was something that loaded your free checklist. And then if what tags have fired. So you'll see here, this is actually the conversion tracking one that we're, we're looking at called checklist download. Google adds conversion tracking fired one time, which means that this is now when you download the checklist, it says, hey, thanks for you know downloading our checklist, check your inbox, the checklist is on its way. You can see, yep, if someone made that, that page, my conversion tag says the checklist has been downloaded and that fired my Google Ads conversion tracking on the right page. And then you can see, is anything else firing? Um, you know, your, is PPC landing page submission? No, this is tags that are not fired or all these tags here. Uh, but the tags that are fired are the proper tags that we want to have fire on this page. So this is just a way for you to use it also, don't be discouraged for every, once in a while, if you go to like a different page, um, this thing, yeah, now it's it's connecting, but I've got it to actually mess up one time. I went to the About Us page on our website, and I think it was, yes, yeah, it like disconnected, and I just waited like 10 seconds, and then it reconnected on its own. So don't think that, you know, you have to have that tag of the debugging um, here. This will be cached onto your site. Um, you can use a um kind of a before parameter where if you whoa paste it twice but it's going to say you know go to the thank you page and keep the question mark gtm underscore debug equals x if you click on that it will still go to the page it'll still be connected so you don't necessarily even need this on there it's going to save in the cache you can see here so don't worry be worried about you know having to know the exact url you can go through your page as simply or go through your website as you normally would and it'll still just kind of stay connected because this is a window that's made for debugging mode. So yeah, uh, don't fear. Hopefully this is a, uh, a simple uh, update for you that if you watch this quick tutorial, you'll know, okay, now I know what to do. Not really different um, functionality, but just different way of interfacing and how it functions now. So let me know if you have any questions. If you have any questions in the comment box, please feel free to shoot those down there. I respond to them personally. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day. Thanks.